Hi, let's do an energy update for September 2020 and see what the cards have to tell us about what's coming up for us. Um, I know everybody can feel it's a time of huge, huge, huge changes. And it feels like there's something really big coming up. Don't know what that is, but some kind of really huge shift of some sorts. And um, I think for me, what I've been, most messages I've been getting lately have to do with just really being yourself, like really finding your own uniqueness, not going along with the crowd or, or caving into what other people are thinking or telling you how to think even, right? It's just finding your own voice, your own uniqueness and how you want to express that in the world. <laughs> so I don't know if the cards are going to speak to that. That's just what I've been kind of feeling a lot of lately. And we'll just see what the cards have to say. Linda Armstrong. If you're new to my channel, I'm an energy healer, spiritual awakening coach, and I love to help people to love their life, right? So to clear what's blocking you, what's standing in your way from loving your life. Um, and I have to say, I'm pretty excited because I, my son made me this, um, this laser cutter, my 1K <laughs> button. YouTube. YouTube doesn't give those out, right? So, well, actually, they send you a video with like um, like a little um, gift you can spread around your social media just to celebrate. You know, it's a, a little milestone, right? Reaching up 1,000 subscribers. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, he made me that. I got to see, figure out where I want to put it. It's actually a sticker, right? Makes them on his um, laser cutting machine, whatever you want to call that thing. So, I'm gonna split, split this deck and we're gonna see what card we get. The first one I'm going with is uh, Ask Your Guides. And let's just see, what do the cards want us to tell tell us? And the thing is like, what I, what I like most about these readings is that, look, I didn't even look at it yet. Um, you know, a lot of times people watch these videos way after the month that the reading was for, um, but it doesn't matter. It's like, if you stumble on a video, mind somebody else's video, some kind of energy reading, whatever those cards are saying at that moment are going to speak to you in some way. So whenever you're hearing this, this is for the month of September, 2020. Oh, it says life force, Aphrodite, life force. So let's see what that's all about. Uh, let's see, it has a number, a number 45. All right, life force. Well, I mean, really what I've been feeling a lot these days is, you know, life force is love, right? You are that energy of love. That is who you are. That's the energy that you are. And for me, I think I just did a video on that, like how to heal the planet. Be love, be love, send love. The more you send love out, the more you're raising your own vibration and living in that high vibe, which is where everything goes easy, right? That's, that's the fifth dimension energy, right? Being in that high vibration of love. Okay, so it says, life force, Aphrodite, seduction, libido, sexuality, and attraction. So it says your sexuality is awake and on fire. Your, your lustier appetites are in search of satisfaction. You're attractive, seductive, and powerful, and the green light of availability to a sexual partner is flashing. All right, cool. This is what makes the world go round and nothing is more intriguing than the ex and exciting than your life force asserting itself. The key to enjoying this fiery essence is containment. You must control and direct your life force energy rather than allow it to control and overwhelm you. Otherwise, you can become mindlessly addicted to your senses, which can be debilitating and enslaving. Yeah, you can see where addictions can come out of that. So it says, delight in your sensual self, but be discriminating about where it leads you. Use your judgment. Raw life force is best partnered with reason and a greater force of love to bring you to a heightened state of ecstasy that you seek. Trust this sensual goddess Aphrodite as she unleash, unleashes your passions, but respect her as well. Her message for you is use your fiery passion passions creatively, creatively and not destructively. 
All right. So, you know, maybe that is to do with relationships, romance, sexuality, sensuality. But maybe it's also to do with um, that fire of creation, right? That life force that comes um, not with just birthing a child, a human, <laughs> but birthing a new project, birthing a new you. What if that's all about that? Maybe it ties in a little bit with where I was coming from in the beginning is finding that true essence of you, right? Always checking in, knowing what's right for you and, and then creating from there, right? So this huge shift that maybe you're about to experience could be more of that fire, of that energy coming up. And whether it has to do with your romantic life or just, just your life in general with creating all that you desire, we'll see right so okay so this next deck i love it's a little tiny thing it's vibrational energy deck so let's let's see what this one wants to give us i already shuffled these up but i'll just do another quickie okay split the deck here and get inspired juggler there we go inspired juggler okay let's put that there let's get this card out uh, almost open to it. I like when I open to the exact card, but that didn't happen this time. All right, so Inspired Juggler. What are we juggling? <laughs> what are you juggling? Uh, if you're juggling your emotions, let's start throwing, a, th you know, juggling all these balls. Here comes that fear. Psh, throw it away. Don't juggle that one anymore. <laughs> let's juggle those high vibrations. Um, at least that's what I would do. Okay, so it says Inspired Juggler. You were born to organize. You are the multitasking extraordinaire that others wish they could be. You have an astonishing ability to keep all of your balls up in the air at once. The vibration of control whilst in chaos is your key to success. Well, there's a lot of chaos out there in the world right now, right? So what if we are juggling all those emotions that are coming up through all of this? And what if we could choose what we prefer to juggle and just destroy all the ones that we don't want to. Just let him go. Uh, it says it is balance within the confusion and disorder. Be amazed and don't underestimate what you can truly achieve. Okay. All right. I don't know if it's speaking to you guys yet. I'm not exactly sure where it's going, but um, I do have to say this thing with juggling the energies that are coming up. I honestly don't listen to the news because... Um, you know, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel good for me listening to the news. I just get all tied up in knots. So my son was telling me some things that were going on. And, um, oh my God, I had to go and take a shower and just really do a cleansing of my energy to let go of all this fear and all this pain that was coming up through the stories that he was telling me about that are happening to people out there in the world right now. Um, so... That's how I'll take that juggling card for me anyway. Oh, back to basics. Back to basics. Okay. What do we need to know about back to basics? Where's the book? Here it is. And that's number four. Number four. Maybe that's, maybe we could take that back to basics. It's the getting down to the root, your truth, who you are, and living from that. And again, you know, the things that come up that just don't feel like they fit in your world, they don't have to be there. It's only you that puts them there. So you can choose to not have certain elements that come up within your day-to-day -day be part of your day-to-day. -day. You can shift it all. Some people don't realize they can, so I don't know. Let's see what this card talks about. Back to basics. Your psychic sense and higher awareness are founded on common sense, which begins with properly meeting your, your physical needs. As obvious as this sounds, it's easier said than done for most people as they tend to live in their heads and forget about their bodies. If you neglect the basic needs, your higher awareness will diminish, leaving you to operate on adrenaline and anxiety. Yeah. In such state, you miss the finer, more subtle psychic vibrations and you lose your way. Self-love and self-care are non-negotiable commitments for the sixth sensory soul. 
If you're drawn to this card, it's time for you to raise the bar on self-awareness. Access your basic habits. Are you taking loving care of your body without guilt? Are you getting enough sleep, drinking enough water, eating healthy and lovingly prepared foods and getting adequate, um, adequate exercise? If not, you're paying a high price for your neglect and sabotage of your higher awareness. Your body is your greatest psychic receptor. And as a fully committed sixth sensory being, give yourself these things and pay attention to the higher energies of life starting right now. Well, that that's so true, really, because if you allow yourself to get depleted or if you allow yourself to get overcome by, even if it's just the emotional stuff going out there, but when you're not caring for your body, when you're not nurturing the very cells of your body through sleep, through eating, through doing joyful things, dancing, like, you know, that's feeding your body. It's more so energetically, but not only because you are actually moving your body too, right? So I know for me, I was, <laughs> I was dancing to music before while I was drying my hair, doing my makeup and all that stuff. Um, couldn't even couldn't even stay still while I was doing it because I just allow, I just really getting in that flow, that higher vibration. You know, when you let that take that higher vibration rule, um, lots of cool things can happen, right? Because I actually did go in a really low place, you know, even though it was just temporary by allowing myself to be so affected by the things that were happening to other people. And we have to remember, we create our own realities. And, wow, I'm getting lightheaded, this message. And there's a purpose to all things. So, like, even in that craziness that's going on out there, you know, it is helping to actually purge the planet of so many old systems that are breaking down, so many, um, you know, the go-to of falling into fear or anger or rage, like those lower vibrations. It's, so much of it is coming up right now because it really is a purging. And so you want to be mindful of when it comes up in your own body and allow it to release. Like I said earlier, I just, I just, I actually went and showered, just use the shower water to just wash away all that heavier energy, energy that I just took on through the stories that I was hearing. Um, and I felt a whole lot better afterwards. Okay. So here's the card. It says, connect with your soul family. <laughs> yeah, that, that would lift your spirits right there. Connecting with the soul family. So what is that? Number 20. Let's see what number 20 says. Okay, number 20. All right, so it says, this isn't the moment to attempt things alone. Your spirit is isolated and needs extra support and energy. Well, that could be so for a lot of people throughout this whole um, lockdown, right? It's time to convene with kindred spirits Contact those who genuinely know you, love you, and deeply appreciate you. Yeah, because even in that connection, and, that, and of course it's going to be like energy there. It really will raise yours and their energy. Um, create a way to be together with your loved ones. And that could be a Zoom call, right? It could be, you know, so you can see each other. It, makes it, it adds another element to it instead of just a phone call. Um, create a way to be together with your loved ones, whether it's leisurely conversation over the phone, a shared meal, or a walk through the park. Their support, affection, and perspective will re-energize you, helping you to regain your confidence and put clarity on your present situation. <laughs> so whether you need someone to act as a sounding board for your concerns or simply help you to take your mind off your worries, step back and have some fun with those who, who you love to spend time with most. Time spent with your soul family will allow you to remember what's most important to your spirit right now. And the added support is essential to your success. All right. So that's it. We've got to connect with your soul family. Back to basics. Um, what was this? Inspired juggler and life force. Hmm. Those are the cards. So how did those speak to you? You know, really, you know, getting back to basics for me, it really is coming, you know, sorting out who you really are. Like, what do you really want to do? What do you love? And not 
just going along with what you think you were supposed to do or, you know, sometimes it's even what you did love, but now you just no longer do anymore. A lot of people are shifting out of one career into a whole different one. And, you know, with everything happened with the pandemic, it's actually bringing up many different ways of even doing things that you enjoy in in a way that you would enjoy more or doing things that you were kind of like done with, but finding a new inspiration with these other ways of having to do it, right? That could bring new life to something, whatever that might be. And uh, I, I really take this inspired juggler card as, 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 as choosing. To me, it's like choosing what it is you want to juggle in your life, like juggling the things that you want in your life and like throwing out those balls that are don't feed the energy that it will inspire you right? Yeah, it said inspired juggler. So if I'm going to be an inspired juggler, I'm going to be juggling all the things that really light me up. And I'm just going to th trash the things that don't. Um, you know, life force energy. Yeah, I, again, I think it's really getting back to basics. Back to basics. Oh, that was the card, right? Back to basics with um, who you are, what you want, what you're all about, where you're heading, what you're leaving. Like, that's why energy healing is really good. Because I know right now I'm helping a lot of people to just, you know, close the door on these old things, you know, and really release the energy once and for all from these patterns, these past traumas that just keep coming up, right? They keep, If they keep coming up, they're coming up so you can clear it. And it's only going to come up again until you clear it. So um, you might want to work on clearing out those things, those things repetitive things in your life that you do not want that don't take you further or again that's that juggling card and you're like we want to get rid of these things that do not inspire you because you want that life force energy right that first card you want that that fire coming in i mean that's how we want to create our lives right that inspires us to do more where what we're doing feels more like play than work right because we love it so much and maybe it's also just bringing in more fun, more downtime, more playtime, because we were given a whole lot more time. Okay, if things are opening up now and people are getting back to some sort of a different routine um, since a lot more has opened up. So I don't even know where I was going with that. <laughs> I totally lost my train of thought. So I guess I'll take that as my signal that this reading's over for today. Um, I hope some of it spoke to you. And um, let's see how it plays out for this month. If any of these cards and what was said by the actual card uh, or my interpretation of it to what will, um, you know, how it plays out during this month of September for you. And again, I'm happy to be at 1K and I would love you to... Uh, Subscribe, like and share, comment, and I'll see you on another video. Bye.